So if you're watching this video, you've almost made it to the end of our SketchUp Shapes assignment. As a reminder, the purpose of this assignment is to allow us the opportunity to see what SketchUp can do with some basic shapes before we go on to some crazy cool stuff we're gonna get to do later. This week, we've already gone through the green shapes where we made the cube. We went to the blue shapes where we made the pyramid and the pink shapes yesterday where we made a cylinder and even made it into a Super Mario Bros. pipe. Today, we are going to be doing the most complicated of all. Can I get a round of applause? Super exciting stuff. Today, we're gonna to be using the follow me tool to make a sphere and maybe even some other stuff too for some extra credit follow along. As all of these assignments have started, we are starting a new document in meters here in SketchUp. So I'm going to go to that home screen, click the little arrow next to create new decimal meters. I can get rid of the person placeholder. And I want you to think about it this way. A circle is two-dimensional, a sphere is three-dimensional, and so what we're going to do to make today's shape is take a circle and a circle and then use a special tool called Follow Me to make them into one another. It'll make sense when we do it. We're gonna start out by going to the circle tool. It might be in the three dots up top if you haven't used it recently. And we're gonna make two circles. The first circle that we're going to make starts here and goes out this way. I'm going to press one and press enter to make that a one meter diameter circle. And then what I'm going to do is kind of rotate my view a little bit, sort of like this, and go back to the circle tool. Start here on this crazy shape right at the origin. See where it says origin? And I'm going to come out this way and make another circle. I've got two circles. I'm going to kind of delete the middle of this circle to give me just an outline. And now you can almost see like the shape of a planet or something weird like that. Not exactly sure. What we're going to do next, we are going to click the outer rim twice and it's gonna all select in blue. And then we're going to go to a tool called the Follow Me tool. It looks like a macaroni noodle. Follow Me. And when I click that, it looks like nothing happened, but what I have to do next is click the other circle. And as soon as I do that, those two circles became one and now I have a sphere where from every angle, it looks like a circle. If I were to 3D print this, it would be like a ball, like a, like a golf ball, something to that effect. It would be very helpful for me if you use the dimensions tool, prove to me that this is two meters all the way across from one side to the other, bring it over this way. And the reason it's two meters is because what we did was we made the circle one meter radius. And so now from the radius to both sides is two meters. So this is correct. Put that out there so I can see it. For that first box, we're gonna snip this snipping tool, go into that snipping tool, click new, drag the box, head back over into Teams to take a look at this part of the assignment. And I'm going to paste. Now this is my first sphere and it's up here. 